Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and today we're checking out this week's brand new event for Idle Heroes. We have a Sky Labyrinth event, and given the recent events we've had in the past month, it really brings to question a lot of the rewards we have available in standard Idle Heroes events. So today I'm going to be breaking this event down, and if you're a newer player, you'll hopefully learn a lot about what you should think about when approached with a Sky Labyrinth event. So folks, Let's get into this. But before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Angel Legion is a sci-fi idol RPG similar to Idol Heroes, but set in space. You put together a team of angels, combining their abilities into epic combos to explore the galaxy, defeat powerful foes, and when all that fighting is over, you can hang out with your heroes in the cabin to relax and unwind. The heroes in this game are fully customizable and you can dress and change the way they look to your heart's content. And there's lots of different heroes in the game for you to experiment with to find which team you like the most for making progress. For this week only, Angel Legion have a unique fashion item once again up for grabs. And with it, you can also get 10 free summons. All you need to do is go to your profile menu and select the gift exchange button. From there, enter the code PVSJ1284 and that will get you a unique fashion item and 10 free summons. Then all you need to do is go to your hero menu, unlock that fashion item and equip it to whichever hero you like. So folks, why not go ahead and download Angel Legion, use that code to get some free rewards, and if you do, it helps out this channel. And who knows, you might just find your new favorite gacha game to play alongside Idle Heroes. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out this week's event for Idle Heroes. So, every day for logging in, you're going to get yourself 15 Mithril pickaxes, and these are extremely important if you're hoping to make progress. This is the 42nd ever Sky Labyrinth event, which means Sky Labyrinth has been around for over three years and is approaching four years being in the game. That is extremely scary, and it's a point I want to focus on for today's video. Also, we get ourselves a super wishing coin, so you can use that in the super wishing fountain. And as well, remember, you need 50 of them to do your monthly rewards. So if that's something you struggle with for some reason, well, you can go ahead and get all these amazing prizes using those super wishing coins. Either way, this week we have value packages, and they're pretty good. They contain treasure coupons as top rewards, as well as the wishing coins, mithril pickaxes, and gems. You can also buy these for contract story gems if you wish to. Should you be getting this though? My argument would be no, it's probably not worth it. You don't need the wishing coins, treasure coupons are nice but they're given in other packages, and the gems and smithral pickaxes, yeah they can help you out but I don't think you need to be spending your money on these. Moreover, if you take a look at Sky Labyrinth itself, this is a game mode which is in severe need of being reworked. A lot of the rewards we have available here just do not cut it. Yes, they've adjusted things in the past where now Sky Chests do give Stellar Shards, but even that total of Stellar Shards is nothing compared to what we gain from the Glorious Treasury. DH Games have shown a willingness to adjust event rewards. Heck, just go back and look at the Card Clash of Illusion event. That was incredible, and just for entering what was a standard event, there was an opportunity to pick up a lot of great rewards. We need something similar like that for Sky Labyrinth. As it stands, these reward tiers just do not do well. At least Imp's Adventure gives campaign loot drop currency, which is able to give us treasure train items. That was really nice to see that addition. Sky Labyrinth lacks that punch. Heck, to get to floor 9, the most exciting thing you get here is a 9-star chest, and free-to-play players can't even reach that. Which, if you compare to something like Fantasy Factory, 9-stars are relatively achievable for free-to-play players. So this is a bit of a shame in general. Heck, the artifact chest is floor 15. That requires you to spend 200 bucks to get to. It just doesn't make much sense for this to be that deep. So I really hope we see some change. As well, for DH Games financially, one of the key things they try and sell this week is double privileges. And who cares about doubling your rewards? You need to go up a relay here, which is worth 100 bucks to reach this double reward point. And they're definitely not worth spending 100 bucks on. So again, this is a huge concern. If you take a look at this package as well, yeah, you get some free rewards here, and it does contain a chest that can give you access to Stellar Shards, which is really nice. But to get more of this, you have to spend money. And 100 bucks is going to pick you up a ton of these deluxe resource selections chests but again 
it's nothing compared to what we achieve from the glorious treasury, which gives literally millions of stellar shards without us having to spend 100 bucks. Compare this to last week where I spent 130 bucks and then a bunch of contract story gems on top of that, and I walked away with 1.2 million spirit vein shards in value, hundreds of thousands of stellar shards, not to mention the 5 million stellar shards that I also managed to get from the glorious treasury, and then there was also a full noble sublimation in there as well. It's ridiculous how much value we had last week. This week lacks that same punch, and it seems odd. I don't think anyone in their right minds would go ahead and buy this relay, just because the value we're getting is nothing compared to what we've seen in the past. So I think the perspective that we have approaching idle heroes and spending now is going to change. Improving free-to-play rewards is definitely something we have wanted to see, and it's been amazing this last month, the amazing rewards we've had. But in doing so, the devs need to be fully aware that this is going to lower the value of things which maybe six months ago we would have seen as good. The wonderful value we've had in the past has turned a relay like this into just not good value. You can't really justify 20 cores of transcendence 10 treasure coupons and a smattering of prism starry gems and call that good value yes we're getting tons of these chests as i said that contain stellar shards but there's much easier ways to obtain them that are free and mithril pickaxes only get you more progress in sky labyrinth and we already established earlier that sky labyrinth rewards just aren't that great so what else have we got well, the final part of this event is a wishing fountain event, which is giving us profit orbs and super wishing coins if we choose to spend our normal wishing coins. At the top reward here is Flora, a hero really not worth grabbing, and you could do this up to nine times, but it's a complete waste. You do not want to be doing this. And the rewards here in wishing fountains, again, haven't been updated since they added monthly events. And the monthly events came out ages ago. This whole glorious temple shop was part of that big update. And my word, folks, things have definitely advanced in the game since then. Yes, we do get some amazing events that have us using wishing coins to complete them, so I would just argue if you guys want to get the most out of an event like this, just save everything. Save your wishing coins and save any gems you may have. This mysterious chest selection here is just not worth spending on. If you just think about all the big events we've had recently, a lot of them require you to spend 20, maybe 40,000 gems or somewhere in between. And that level of gem spending is difficult to maintain if you go ahead and spend here in the mysterious chests. And you'll find that spending 8,000 gems on 30,000 guild coins and a chest here yeah, that used to be worth it maybe two years ago, but nowadays grabbing this sort of reward for that many gems is just not good. There is an argument that picking up five heroic summon scrolls for 500 gems is worth it, but even now it seems people just seem to be either swimming in scrolls because they're spenders or just not buying scrolls at all because free-to-play players have better things to spend their gems on. So yeah, I suppose you could pick this top thing up, but I think everything else here is easy and skippable, and it's just so much better to save your gems for big events like the one we had last week. So overall, this event is absolutely filler. There's nothing here that's unique. The relay is uninspiring, and the Wishing Fountain and Mysterious Chest is just not worth going for. As well, I will stress that Sky Labyrinth does let you spend gems to get more pickaxes, but even this, in my opinion, is not worth it and can just easily end up being a waste of 4,000 gems. It is not worth spending some gems just to push yourself up to a five-star chest. I would save your gems and just wait for heroes in the future because heroes are relatively easy to obtain. You don't need to be chasing chests. Yes, you could argue a chest could be useful if you're chasing your first E5, but I think a little bit of patience and you shouldn't even need to worry about that. I'd rather save my gems for big events. So overall, I don't think you need to be spending any money this week, even if you're a budget player trying to get some value here. I think the best thing you can do is just leave this, save your cash, save your resources for something bigger in the future. And in fact, we potentially do get something bigger in the future, as next week is a Transcendence event. Melissa, the hero who came out last month, is being turned into a Transcendence hero, and all the usual stuff is going to come alongside that. So we should see an event that is full of amazing rewards, and DH Games have shown a willingness to transform event rewards. So I am hoping that next week will be the first of a new series of Transcendence events. 
and will set up expectations for what is to come around Halloween and Christmas. So if you folks are excited, hit that subscribe button as I will be reviewing this event when it goes live next week. So make sure you stay tuned for next week to make sure that you can enter this Transcendence event and make the most progress possible, whether you're free to play or a spender. And as well, we have Hero Exchange here, which is actually giving us a copy of Melissa, which is quite unique. They don't normally give us the hero that is getting transcended available in the altar store. So this is pretty cool. Betty is thrown in there as well. So more on how this works next week, and make sure you subscribe if you want to catch that video. But overall, folks, my general conclusion for today is that what we have is an event that is relatively uninspiring, and DH Games should see in this week to come that their revenue for this week is going to dip because spending will just not be pushing towards this look relay. That will hopefully give them a wake-up call that Sky Labyrinth is an event that needs to be either scrapped or transformed into something much more valuable. Because let's face it, Sky Labyrinth is probably now the weakest of the events available to us as players. In fact, sky chests just aren't exciting anymore, and even these star spawn cores you're getting are completely eclipsed by other ways of grabbing star spawn cores reliably. So DH games are really going to have to do something to improve the rewards in Sky Labyrinth, but if they do, it could make this a really good event. It just requires some inspiration and clever reward design, and that is something DH games have definitely shown they're capable of doing in the previous few weeks. So hopefully we see something similar moving forward with Sky Labyrinth. If we don't, DH games are probably not going to make that much money. Either way, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Today is just a little short one, and do be sure to check out this week's sponsor, Angel Legion, and use the codes in the description to give yourself a little bit of a push on your account. It helps out the channel, and hopefully you find a game you enjoy. Either way, folks, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to catch more event reviews in the future, and as always, have an amazing week, and happy idling.